Hello guys, Deets and Ugly Studios here, and today I will be reviewing my complete LEGO Ninjago Ninja Collection and their senseis. So this will exclude some other characters that you might be thinking about, because so, this is just the, the official ninja that are actually part of the team. And this is everything that exists so far. There will be some slight customizations, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's get into the first wave, the original ninja. Alright, so here are the original ninja, and I did include Lloyd in this one and Nia, because they are ninja later on, and this is just their original form, so I just wanted to show that. And we do have the original Sensei Wu over here, and you can see they're just very simple outfits with the original 1990s ninja mask, and just their elemental symbol with some ropes, and then a normal belt, and it pretty much stays the same for all of them, which you'll see for a while until the ZX wave. But yeah, let's just focus on this right now. All of them just have their normal faces. The only figure with a double-sided face was Nia, with her little mouth wrap to show when she's, like, in ninja form. And just Sensei is the black belt, and all these look really good. Now let's move on to the next wave. Here's the next wave. This is the Ninja's DX suits. And yes, I did put the new Lloyd DX from 2015 in there, but I swapped out his mask for a 1990s green ninja mask, which is not custom. It's actually a real piece. Any true LEGO fan should know that. They used to have old green ninjas, so it wasn't that rare to get ninja pieces in green in 2012 when it came out. And also, I put Garmadon in here. This is his first form when it's very dark with the lack of leg printing and just some purple and silver on the torso and the normal face and the silver samurai helmet with the bone at the top. I'm just throwing him in here because this was uh, his first form and the ninja didn't really get to fight him in the show until they had these suits. So that's pretty much it besides Sensei. Sensei got this new black robe which looks really cool and it's very significant to him. It's revealed in one of the mini movies. And then he's got this awesome beard, and then just the, everything's the same about Sensei. And then all the ninja have the golden dragon designs on them, depicting their elemental dragons with it breathing their element. So it has everything for them. And then it's also cool to notice that Lloyd's version of this has the same as Cole's dragon, but with a little bit different designs. And it's breathing some sort of energy lightning looking thing, but I'm not sure about that. Alright, so here we have the Kendo wave. This is when the ninja got their training armor, and it was only seen at one or two times in the entire show. Jay's appeared in it later, but all the other ninja have only appeared in it once. And yeah, it's pretty much just normal. It's their normal original outfits, like this, but it has samurai armor and a new Kendo head mold over it. And everything's pretty much stayed the same, and I don't see too many people liking these too much, because it's just a rehash of the original suit with some extra armor. Alright, so here we have the ZX suits, you can see all the ninja have them, and this is the first time they really got all different designs of suits, because all the designs are actually very different from each other, except for, uh, actually, Zane's and Jay's look very similar, in my opinion, but that's just me, and then also, we got a new Sensei Wu this year, he has this cool outfit, not very much is different, has a little bit of dragon print on the inside. And then we also got Garmadon, who now has four arms, but retains everything the same, except for his helmet is a different shade of gray. And we also have Nia in her samurai outfit. It was kind of a mystery when we were first revealed the samurai, but it was very easy, because once you got the samurai minifigure, you could tell whose face it was. The printing is pretty basic, but the new shade of armor and the new helmet pieces and everything just looks so cool. So I really like this original Samurai X minifigure. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this wave. Now let's move on to the next one. Alright, so here we have the NRG wave, which is actually the ninja's true potentials. And yes, I did put Golden Lloyd here, because this is actually Lloyd's true potential. And I used his human face, yes, because that's how he appears in the show, and I like it more. I don't really like the gold printed head, because it doesn't even really look like Lloyd. But anyway, all the ninja in this form look super cool, they're all reflective, you can see if I angle, um, not really Kai too much. The gold is what's reflective on Kai. There, you can see the reflection there. You can easily see it on Cole and Zane. There you go. And on Jay, you can see it really well in that awesome, like, kind of like turquoise, shiny kind of print, which looks really cool on all the ninja with their really pure elemental looking form. And this was only released for the ninja, of course. We don't have a Sensei or Garmadon or Nia, but we, I really do think we need a Nia. But in the show, she didn't even really turn into the NRG form when she found her true potential. So I'm not sure. Alright, so here we have the Kimono Ninja. I know these are supposed to have the shoulder pads, but I couldn't really make them fit on the stand with the shoulder pads. So I think they look even better without them, though, because they do have 
this uh, metal part on their hood isn't the only metal part they have. They also have the, on the hooks down here and their badges and lining a bunch of clothing. On their backs they have their elemental symbol and this is the first wave that included uh, the ninja being mostly black, which you'll see later on. And the ninja were now back to having suits that looked exactly like each other. And this Lloyd figure was pretty rare. He came in a book, so that was really expensive to get. So when I purchased mine, he does have a little bit of a messed up leg. But I think it's worth it, because it still is very expensive. And we also got a new form of Garmadon. Almost nothing was changed except for he got a different top of his helmet and a different mouthpiece to show his transformation into the Overlord. So I think that's a good figure to have, because a lot of people really like the Overlord. Alright, so here we have the first rebooted wave with the ninja's techno suits. They have this little face guard, and that's just what Zane's face like guard looks like. Or that's what Zane looks like without his face guard, because there were two versions of Zane, as he was the main character for the wave. He has one battle damage version with his chest torn open, and one normal version. Um, and then all the ninja, basically, their suits are different again, except... I actually think that these two look really similar. These designs just look so similar and it kind of ruins it because all the other ninja suits are so individual. And if you notice, the tides have turned with these two because Sensei Wu is now the evil one with a new face print and everything new about him, even the color of the beard. And then Garmadon is now the good Sensei. He has this green outfit, kind of matching Lloyd's, and he has the same hair as Lloyd and just an overall new figure and he was a great addition. And here we have another small wave. This is the titanium, or not titanium, it counts for Zane, but this is the stone armor wave. It's very contested in the LEGO community because not all of them exist already, so I was debating putting them on this list at all because the complete collection of suits isn't even complete. We do know there will be a J stone armor variant coming soon, but we haven't seen anything about coal at all, so I'm still wondering if we'll ever get one. Anyway, Kai has the leg printing, which is new. But none of the other ones have leg printing, which I really don't like. I think Kai just should have plain red legs. And along with Kai having new leg printing, he has new face printing. That's Kai's first smiling face that we ever got. And that is Zane. He has his face torn up. And here's Lloyd. Looks really cool. Both of these ones came in the same set. Oh, those three. So you can get three of this entire wave just from one set. This, as you can see, is the new Samurai X, which is the stone armor version. Or I'm not sure if it's stone armor, but it really does look like it. So I'm just going to keep her with these ones. And then Nia just looks very similar, but she's got a lot more gold and silver put onto her than she did last time. And now she shares the same shoulder pads as the ninja do. Now here we get into 2015. This is the new wave of Ninjago sets when we thought Zane was dead, but he actually wasn't. Spoiler alert. Just kidding. So these are the tournament outfits, just basic ninja hair. It was good to always get the hair. And new suits with sleeveless but with gloves. So these are really cool suits. This is one of my personal favorites, although I'll announce my personal favorite when we get to it. But this is probably my second favorite, mostly based on Cole's because I just think it looks so cool on him. And then also we got a new Sensei Garmadon. He looks really cool. He's got this awesome dark green now and swapping out for the light green. And now he just has the same hair and same face. Nia is probably the minifigure that changed the most. The Samurai X design gained green, and it lost its silver. Now it is gold, black, green, and red. And it has this awesome helmet, which now comes in black instead of a metal color. And her face is now a robot face, which fits well with what we saw in the TV show, but never got in a set. And then on the other side, there is her normal face. So yeah, this is basically the tournament wave, and I like this one a lot. All right, here we have the Zukin outfits. This is the ninja's so-called jungle or just elemental outfits. This is what they get when they regain their elemental powers in the TV show. TV, not TV show. That would be ridiculous. A TV show on Chen's Island, and all of them look the same. But Zane it was actually rebuilt with the des this design, and Skylar had the design before the ninja did, which I find really weird. Anyway, so Skylar's got this cool face, new ninja. Although she didn't stick around for very long. She's got this face band, and she's in the heat orange color. And then Kai, very basic again, but still looks cool. I like having this symbol instead of a metallic crown. Uh, Zane, titanium now, officially a robot. He's got this cool face with the visor. He also has a normal face on the back. And there's Lloyd, same as Kai, same as Kai, same as Kai. When I say same as Kai, I mean just like... Same basic attributes, because all these look very similar. They just have different types of knives strapped to their belts, except for Skylar. 
And yeah, overall, I think these ones look really cool, but they're definitely not my favorite because I don't like how every suit has a little bit of orange in them. I would have rather that have been like either black, but that might have not might not have worked on coal. So I'd rather that have been gold. Here we have the deep stone outfits, and yes, I'll go out and say that these are my favorite suits. I just like how united they look, but they still have little things that make them individuals, and this new mask mold just really makes it for me. Here's the new Sensei Wu. He's got a lot of gold and gray armor. First time he hasn't had flesh-toned hands. And Nia is now officially a ninja. I really like that about this wave. Nia looks so cool, and I love the azure and dark red color scheme, although I think it does deserve a little bit more azure, being the water ninja and all. There's her new face. And all the ninja look very similar, except Zane now fits in with the rest of the ninja, no longer being completely metal. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this wave. It was pretty simple, but I liked it a lot. Alright, so here we have the second to last wave. This is just the ninja in their air jitsu forms. Cole now has prominently orange, and all the ninja look very similar to what they did in their true potential forms. I'll actually pull out true potential Kai right here, just to show how similar the two look. All the reflective stuff is back, so it stands tipping over a little. They look very similar overall, and I just like how these two go together, how one represents their ultimate power of their element and this is like their ultimate power of air jitsu so i like that a lot and as you can see i did include lloyd possessed as moro because this is the form that moro learns air jitsu in and it's kind of a separate character so i'm just throwing it in there because it looks cool and here is sensei wu since this is sensei's form from the temple of air jitsu which is the only reason i'm throwing him in the air jitsu lineup looks really cool it's his like retirement robes i guess there we go here we have our final wave, most recently not including the summer sets. This is our skybound wave, and this is the air jitsu gi, not the air jitsu form, this is just the air jitsu suit. All the ninja look very similar to Deep Stone, but now have more of their color and a little bit more gold on them. They have this new shoulder pad, which looks really cool, and then they also have a double sword holder that holds them, two of them across the back instead of two crossing back. And then we have a new sensei. It's the same as the deep stone form, but he has this little pilot helmet to pilot his blimp. Nia finally fits in with the ninja, which is really cool to see. But she did lose the azure color, which I really don't like. I think a water ninja should have at least some blue besides a print. And all of them look very similar, except you'll notice Cole and Jay. Cole now has a ghost face, as he got turned into a ghost from Sensei Yang's haunted temple. And Jay has an eye patch, because... He uses it to cover his eye when he gets beaten up by Dog Shank, and then he wears it again when he wants to be a pirate. But not actually. So this is just really cool. I like how these look. They do use the same leg pieces as Deep Stone, which is resourceful, yet kind of lazy. But I do like how some characters change their physical form in this, such as Cole and Jay. Lastly, I would like to mention Sensei Wu. This is his exclusive form to a book, much like Lloyd's that I mentioned earlier. He's got some awesome dark red and gold prints on him, and just looks really cool, although we haven't seen this design yet in the TV show. There's a symbol on the back, and he retains his gold hat and his normal beard. And his face pretty much stays the same. Alright, this is the complete pile of ninja. This is really huge, after I'm realizing now. And just thank you guys so much for watching this video. It took me a long time to collect all of these from my collection and from Bricklink. Just, it was been really fun, too. I might use these in my next season, too. Wahaha. <laughs> Never mind that. Alright, anyway, just thank you so much for watching. Uh, please tune in for more Ninjago videos very soon. And yeah, I'll see you around.